All right, Shalom. To start off this lesson, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and citation to the sincere brothers pushing this truth and all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently. To you we say Shalom. I'm the brother of Warbun Lawyer, and with me. The brother Yerah Aria. And we're the brothers of the we're the brothers from the GMS Miami, the Heralds of Yahweh Shai Camp. Alright. And we come back with another lesson. Alright. And the title and the title of this lesson will be That Ride or Die Chick. Alright. The elect. Okay. That ride or die chick. Alright. The elect. Okay. That ride or die chick is the elect. Okay. Cause the elect, they gonna ride, all right. The elect, the elect is that ride or die chick, man. <laughs> all right, that chick that you know, that chick, man. All right, that chick. Just to keep it plain, that chick. All right, cause you know you got, you know, for men, you know, you you know, cause we men. All right. Hey, the women, you know, we done dealt with, we done, we done came across women that, you know, they were they weren't ride or dies, man. All right. Hey, it's certain brothers. It's certain brothers that have that ride or die chick. It's certain brothers that don't have that ride or die chick. All right, because majority, majority, majority of these women, all right, in America, they're through. All right, and women, women throughout the four corners of the earth, they're through. Why is that? Cause hey, you know, <laughs> watching how America move, you know, and they moving like how you know America move. All right, but that's that's whatever. You know, but hey, man, you know, having that ride or die chick, you know, that's that's something major, man. That's something major, man. All right. And that's something very rare, too. That's something that that's very rare, too. But hey, man. All right. Low willing, we are a part of the elect, man. Hey, all the elect, all the elect members are right, we all represent. OK, you know, we're all rep we're all ride or die chicks, man. To who? Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. OK. And what the the elect is a small number, man. All right, just like what the amount of ride or die chicks that you may find in this world is a small number. They're rare, okay? They're rare, man. But we are gonna get into the scriptures, man. We are gonna start in the book of Matthew, the twenty fourth chapter, in the in the thirteenth verse, man. If you can grab it for me, brother Bubba Kasha. Uh. Matthew twenty four thirteen. Yep. This is Matthew 24 and verse 13. But he that endured unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right, and who's going to endure unto the end? The elect, man. All right? The the rider the rider died chicks, man. All right? They're going to endure to the end. All right? And what's going to happen, man? They're going to be saved. Who's going to save them? Their husband. All right? Their husband is going to save them. Okay? Why, man? All right? Because they ain't fold. All right? They ain't fold. All right? <laughs> they ain't fold, man. All right? So their husband going to come. Th their husband going to save them, man, to keep it plain, man. All right? Their husband going to save them, man. All right? I should say that. All right? Their husband going to save them, which is real soon. Why is that? Because what? They stood, they stood 10 toes down, man. All right? They ain't fold, man. Okay? And they husband loved that. You know? You wanna say something, brother? Yeah, you're right, man. And, you know, saying the right of God, you know, in this world, you know, a right of God will be with you through thick and thin. Mm -hmm. You know, they ain't they ain't they ain't gonna just leave when you you know when she had to find. Right. So, and rather since they let, cause pretty sure they let gonna go through stuff, but and we gonna and we gonna hold on to your body from our side to the end, man. Ooh. You know, that's why the scriptures tell us to endure. You that's know? Right. Right. That's why the scripture still is saying there. You know, and it's a perfect title how you say it, yeah, he's a ride or die, because hey, we going in there, we gotta go through, man, because we know we got something coming from us, man. That's you know? Right. But you got it. Come on, man. Hey. You know shit. Hey, a true ride or die chick, hey, even because we can always like I'm gonna just say this, man. A true ride or die chick, hey, you's in this world, man. Hey, a true ride or die chick, you know. Like like you'll see niggas be like, Yeah, that's my ride or die chick, man. She was with me when I was at the bottom. You know, hey, a true, hey, bro, a, a ride or die chick, you know, 
you know, they're rare. That's one. And another thing too, hey, a ride that chick, she with you when you at your, she with you when you at your brokest, at your lowest. All right. And if she don't, well, well, yeah, a ride that chick, she with you at your brokest, at your lowest. And when you come up, what, what do you do? You bless her. All right. Cause you like, hey man, you ain't never leave my side, man. All right. All, all your homies done left your side. <laughs> all right. Your own family done left your side. But hey, man, this woman stood right next to you and she ain't fold. She ain't she ain't do she, none of that. All right. You were struggling. She was struggling with you. All right. You ain't you wasn't eating. She wasn't eating with you, man. So, hey, man, when you are eating, you're going to eat with her. When you shining, you're going to shine with her, man. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go, bro. All right. Let's go, man. Hey, you got it, bro. This is the second Timothy two and verse three. Therefore, their hardness is a good soldier of Yahweh Shammah. Hmm. Second Timothy two and three, con man. But therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shammah. Man. So, hey, man, we ought to endure hardness, man. Okay. We ought to endure hardness. Don't fold. You know. Don't fold, man. All right. And by you not folding, guess what? Hey, you're going to shine. You're going to receive, all right, <laughs> many rewards, all right, and et cetera. By what? By you not folding and you and you doing what? Remaining the ride or die chick, man, staying 10 tones down, all right? Being a true soldier, all right? And hey, hey, just know that it is pleasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because if it wasn't pleasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right. Why? Why does the scripture say, "He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved"? You know. But I'm gonna grab something. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter ten, and verse thirteen, man. Cause hey, the Lord not gonna give us something that we can't handle. This is First First Corinthians ten and thirteen. There has no temptation taken you, but such as, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But but will with the but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Who? All right. So basic basic basically the Lord ain't gonna give the Lord not gonna give us something that we can't handle. All right. The Lord not gonna give us something that we can't handle. All right. So whatever you're going through now, just know you can handle it. Whatever you're going to go through in the future, just know you can handle it. Okay? Just know that, man. All right? Just know that, man. All right? Whatever it is, endure it. Whatever it is now, endure it. Whatever it is in the times in the times to come, endure it, man. Remain remain the <laughs> How could I Yeah, remain the right or die chick, man. Don't fold, man. All right. Don't fold. All right. Don't fold, man. All right. Plain, man. All right. Plain. Another thing, too, man, you know. Hey, there's there's individuals. All right. That gave uh, it, there's there's individuals, individuals that what fell out this truth, man. All right. They weren't ride or die chicks, man. So guess what, man? Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna destroy them. Hey, you you know, hey, you see, hey, I gotta go back. Uh, I gotta go back to using the world. Hey, you might have you might have a you might have a nigga at his lowest and a female leave him because he at his lowest. Then when he on his top, what does he end up doing? He end up flexing on her ass, man. Okay. Hey, man, we don't want to be flexed on. We want to be. We, we want to be flexed with, man, all right? Which, you know, the ride or die chicks, they're going to be flexed with, man, all right? Because cause they're going to endure to the end, all right? They ain't going to fold no matter what, but you got it, bro. Hey, just as you were saying, hey, you know, the Lord ain't give you nothing too small to handle. Ultimately, that, any affliction you're going through, lower than, lower than you that ride or die, any affliction you're going through, you should automatically take it like the Lord, no, I can endure this. The, mm -hmm. the Lord ultimately knows that I can get through this, man. That's right. You know, so that, that you, you knowing that should that should boost your faith, man. That's right. You know, that should make you want okay. I know Lord putting me through this, you know, because He knows that I can get through. You know, right? Call upon His name and us be low when we, a low when we that ride a bad chick, 
And we gon' and we gon' endure to the, like we gonna endure to the end, man. That's right. You know. That's right. Because and, and what the scripture say, you know, for our, our light affliction, is not gonna be compared to the glory that we shall receive, man. Come. Huh. So come on, man. That's right. Hey, matter of fact, let's grab that, bro. Come on. Let's grab that, bro. We gotta read that. That's Romans eight. And you can start verse 16. This is Romans 8. Verse, uh, verse, what you see, says start at verse 16? Come on. Romans 8 verse 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the chosen of the Most High. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Mashiach, is so being that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not, are not worthy to be compared to, compared with the glory which, which shall be revealed in us. Khan, Slakia. Uh, Slaki, I think you was talking about another precept. Forgive me. But hey, man, that Romans 8 was a good one too, man. Because hey, yeah, <laughs> you know, hey. The ride or die chicks, they're gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and when you read, when you read verse eighteen, it says, "Hey, you know, basically the things, the the things that we going, basically, you know, because when you read Romans eight, uh, Romans eight and eighteen, okay, which I'm gonna read it, you know, the brother read, it, I'm gonna read it again, Romans eight and eighteen, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not to." are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So what we going through right now is not what we going through right now, all right, is not to be compared to everything we about to receive. All right? Mm -hmm. If what? We remain all right to the end, man. All right? Which amen. You hey Lowell and we do, man. Okay? Come on, bro. Come on, Slock, you was going to say something, bro? Come on, uh, what is that? That light affliction? I believe that's a uh, that's second. second. Yeah. The second is four seventeen. Yeah, you got it. The second Corinthians four verse seventeen for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, mm. <laughs> work it as far more exceeding an external weight of glory. Hey, you, you got know, it. You got it, bro. Scripture say, you know, scripture say, you know, I'm not fishing. Take it. It says it only for a moment, man. <laughs> you know, us being our rather die chick. It, hey, it don't last forever. <laughs> you know, and the Lord gonna make a way somehow. Right. You know, Lord gonna part of that leg. And the Lord gonna, and, and the Lord gonna have it to where He gonna, you know, bless us and get us through that uh, tribulation. You know, and us going through that tribulation, and Lord gonna part of that leg. We're going to be blessed with the kingdom, man. That's right. You know? That's right, man. No one will get geared to the end. We are at right or die. We, hey, we're going to be blessed with the kingdom, man. That's right. You know? Come on, man. Yeah, I do. Hey, the, hey, I gotta, hey, I got to say this, man. Hey, man, let's remain that right or die chick to Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Our husband. All right? Let's remain that right or die chick, all right, to our Lord, to our to our husband, Yahweh Shai, man. And watch our Lord. And watch our husband Yahweh Shai show up for us, man. Bless us, man. All right. Put jewels on us, man. When you got that ride or die chick, man. All right, man. You so man. You you spoiler, man. All right. Cause what? What? Why? Why do you spoiler, man? Cause what? She proved herself, man. Okay. She proved herself. All right. She ain't leave when you was at your lowest, man. All right. She ain't leave when you was at your lowest, man. Okay? She had she she uh, she she had your back, man. Alright? When people was coming up against you, she stood for you, man. Alright? And etc., man. You know? Hey, low when we low when we are we're a part of the elect, man. We are the ride or die chicks, man. Alright? Real talk to our husband, Yahweh Shy, man. You know? You got something else, bro? No, we got that, bro. man. So with that, man, it was something quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. We want to end off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechakwadash. 
Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and citation to the sincere brothers pushing this truth and all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently. To you we say Shalom.